Welcome to our brand new channel, where we dive into life-changing books by famous writers. Today, we're exploring Atomic Habits by James Clear. Ever wondered how tiny changes can lead to remarkable results in your life? Are small habits really the stepping stones to a transformative journey? Join us as we uncover the profound impact of minuscule adjustments to our daily routines. If you're ready to revolutionize your life one small habit at a time, this video is for you. Let's begin our journey to greatness. Lesson 1. The Surprising Power of Atomic Habits So today, we start with our first chapter of Atomic Habits by James Clear, The Surprising Power of Atomic Habits. This chapter is not just the beginning of a book. It's the beginning of a transformative journey into understanding how small, incremental changes can lead to profound results in our lives. Let's dive into this fascinating exploration of the power hidden in our daily routines. In Chapter 1, James Clear introduces us to the concept of atomic habits through the inspiring story of British cycling. For nearly a century, British cyclists had underperformed on the world stage a pattern that shifted dramatically when Dave Brailsford became the performance director in 2003. Brailsford's approach was not focused on big sweeping changes. Instead, he believed in the aggregation of marginal gains, the philosophy of seeking a tiny margin of improvement in every aspect of cycling. Brailsford and his team started with small adjustments, like redesigning bike seats and rubbing alcohol on tires for better grip. They extended these marginal gains to every possible area, including testing different massage gels and teaching riders the most effective hand-washing techniques to reduce the chances of catching a cold. These 1% improvements, though minor individually, accumulated to produce remarkable results. Within five years, the British cycling team achieved unprecedented success dominating the 2008 Olympic Games and winning multiple Tour de France titles. James Clear uses this story as a metaphor for personal habits. He argues that we often overestimate the impact of significant actions and underestimate the power of making small, daily improvements. Clear explains that enhancing our lives by 1% daily can lead to being 37 times better in a year, while getting 1% worse leads to a near-zero effect. This compounding effect of tiny changes provides the core message of the chapter. Clear challenges. The common belief that enormous success requires equally massive actions. He suggests that small habits, consistently applied, are more impactful in the long run. The idea is that these tiny, nearly invisible adjustments in our daily routines can accumulate into substantial improvements over time. The chapter goes beyond just presenting this theory. It delves into the practical aspects of applying these small changes in real life. Clear encourages readers to identify areas in their lives where they can implement these 1% improvements. Whether it's personal health, professional development, or relationships, the concept of atomic habits can be universally applied. The key takeaway from Chapter 1 is the power of small habits. Clear's message is that change doesn't have to be radical or immediate. Incremental, consistent, and tiny improvements are often more sustainable and impactful. This approach demystifies the process of personal growth and makes it accessible to everyone. Further, James Clear presents the concept that habits are the compound interest of self-improvement. Just as money grows through compound interest, the effects of our habits multiply as we repeat them. These habits may appear insignificant on any given day, but their cumulative impact over months and years can be substantial. Clear highlights that the true value of good habits and the cost of bad ones only become apparent when we look back over extended periods such as two, five, or ten years. Clear addresses a common challenge in appreciating this concept. We often overlook small changes because they seem inconsequential at the moment. Saving a small amount of money doesn't make us millionaires overnight, nor does a few days at the gym immediately lead to fitness. We tend to expect rapid results, and when they don't materialize, 
we quickly revert to our old ways. This impatience and underestimation of gradual progress also make it easy to dismiss the negative impact of bad habits. Eating an unhealthy meal or procrastinating for a day might not seem to have immediate consequences, but if repeated over time, these small errors can lead to serious problems. The book then illustrates the profound effect of small habitual changes using the analogy of an airplane's route. A slight shift in the airplane's route by a few degrees can land you in a completely different city. Similarly, small habitual changes can lead you to a vastly different place in life over time. These choices, seemingly trivial each day, determine the difference between who you are and who you could be. Clear also delves into the concepts of positive and negative compounding. Productive activities, learning, and nurturing relationships can compound positively, leading to significant personal growth and strong social networks over time. Conversely, stress, negative thoughts, and outrage can compound negatively, creating severe personal and societal issues. The chapter further explores the concept of latent potential. Clear uses the metaphor of an ice cube melting to illustrate how significant changes often result from many previous actions. The temperature of the ice cube has to reach a melting point for a change to occur, similar to how habits need to reach a threshold before their effects become noticeable. This explains why people often give up on their habits too early. They don't see immediate results and fail to realize that their efforts are accumulating and will produce significant changes once they reach the critical point of transformation. Clear emphasizes that success is the product of daily habits and not once-in-a-lifetime transformations. Whether we are talking about financial status, physical health, or knowledge, our current state is a lagging measure of our past habits. Understanding this principle is crucial in shaping the habits that will lead to the future we desire. The author encourages readers to focus on their current trajectory rather than their current results. It doesn't matter how successful or unsuccessful you are right now. What matters is whether your current habits are putting you on the path to success. This perspective shift is vital for long-term growth and achievement. The Plateau of Latent Potential at the heart of this chapter is the concept of the plateau of latent potential. Clear explains that progress is often invisible and unnoticeable in its early stages. Much like a seed planted in the soil, the growth is happening beneath the surface, unseen and often unappreciated. He describes how we often face a valley of disappointment, a period where our efforts seem fruitless. However, these efforts aren't in vain. They are accumulating building up to a critical point of breakthrough. This concept is crucial to understanding why many people give up on their habits too soon. They fail to realize that their efforts need time to accumulate and compound before any significant change becomes apparent. Clear then shifts focus to the idea of forgetting about goals and instead concentrating on systems. He argues that while goals are useful for setting direction, it's the systems, the processes, and habits we establish that lead to actual, lasting progress. He uses several examples, like a coach's method of training a team or an entrepreneur's approach to running a business, to illustrate this point. These examples highlight that the systems we put in place are what drive us toward achieving our goals. One of the key problems with a goal-oriented mindset, as Clear points out, is that it often leads to a yo-yo effect. We work hard to achieve a goal, but once we reach it, we lose our driving force and revert to old habits. This approach is at odds with long-term progress. In contrast, a systems-oriented approach keeps us engaged in continuous improvement and growth regardless of specific goals. Clear also discusses the importance of understanding that winners and losers often have the same goals and that it's not the goals themselves that differentiate success, but the systems put in place to achieve them. This insight shifts the focus from what we want to achieve to how we plan to achieve it. The chapter also emphasizes that achieving a goal is only a momentary change, and that true 
lasting change requires altering systems, not just reaching endpoints. Goals often lead to temporary changes, whereas systems lead to permanent improvements. Another critical point Clear makes is that goals restrict happiness by placing it in the future always just out of reach. In contrast, systems-based thinking allows for immediate satisfaction from the process itself, leading to a more fulfilling journey toward improvement. Finally, Clear introduces the concept of atomic habits, small, incremental changes that form part of a larger system. He explains that these tiny habits are the fundamental units that contribute to our overall improvement. Just as atoms are the building blocks of molecules, atomic habits are the building blocks of significant achievements. Clear concludes the chapter by reiterating that if we're struggling to change our habits, the issue lies not with us, but with our systems. By focusing on refining and improving our systems, we can ensure that our habits and consequently our lives will improve. So in today's exploration of the first chapter of Atomic Habits by James Clear, titled The Surprising Power of Atomic Habits, we've uncovered some transformative insights. This chapter teaches us that habits are much like compound interest in self-improvement. Small, daily improvements can lead to significant long-term growth. Habits can be a double-edged sword, offering benefits if cultivated positively, but posing risks if they form negatively. We learned that the impact of our habits, whether small or large, often doesn't become apparent until we've crossed a critical threshold. The most profound outcomes, therefore, are the result of a compounding process that requires patience and persistence. The concept of an atomic habit, a small part of a larger system, emerges as the cornerstone of this philosophy. These atomic habits, akin to the building blocks of molecules, are the foundational elements that lead to remarkable achievements in our lives. Crucially, we're encouraged to shift our focus from setting lofty goals to establishing robust systems. Success isn't about reaching a high bar we've set for ourselves. It's about constructing a system that ensures we're consistently performing at a level that brings us closer to our aspirations. As we wrap up today's chapter review, let's ponder on how we can apply these insights to our daily lives. Are there small habits we can start today that might lead to big changes tomorrow? How can we adjust our systems to foster better habits? Thank you for joining us on this journey through The Surprising Power of Atomic Habits. If you found these insights helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Stay tuned for our next chapter, Exploration.